Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's vlog, we are doing a remodel of our master bedroom. So if you're new to my channel, we recently moved from Minnesota to Colorado and we bought a brand new house here. And of course, some of the fun things with buying a new house is updating, remodeling, and refreshing your home to make it match your style. So that is what we're doing in today's vlog. We're working on our bedroom and going to make it fit us. And if you are interested in other DIY room remodels and projects, definitely go check out some of my other vlogs. I have a lot of other fun rooms that we have recently redone. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ozzy wants to join us. <laughs> Recently I have fallen in love with the modern bohemian style so I'm going to try and recreate some of that here in our master bedroom. So let me give you a tour of what the current blah status of our bedroom looks like. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. It is very bare. So let's get started. All right you guys here is my very bare master bedroom. Ta-da! Yes um, it honestly is like nothing in here but our bed. We don't even have nightstands yet so we got to get those. So this will be our accent wall that I will be focusing on. Um, I will not be replacing our headboard because I actually like our headboard um, but otherwise we need nightstands, paint, decor, all the things. The thing I do love about my bedroom because it's gorgeous. We have a view of the beautiful mountains here in northern Colorado. Check this out. All right, you guys, there they are with rooftops, of course. All right, you guys, so this is the back wall of our bedroom. We pulled the bed out, and I am going to be doing a accent wall, like, three-quarter way up the wall. So I'm doing my measurements first to know exactly where I want to stop the paint for that three-quarter of a way up. I am making my measurement from the floor up to exactly 68 inches. That is gonna be where I stop painting. There is my line all the way down to that wall. Everything is taped off. We got our painter's drop cloth down. And we are ready to paint. And just a reminder, since we're not going to the ceiling, I didn't have to tape all the way to the ceiling because we're doing three quarter wall. This is the paint that I will be using. We got this at Home Depot. It is the interior eggshell enamel. We are going dark on this wall. I have never had a black wall in my life. All right, let's see how it looks. boy. Oh, there it is. There it is you guys, one coat is on. Oh what my goodness, look at that, black as black. I will definitely need a second coat on this black. Um, it soaks up quite quickly even though there is already paint on the wall. It's just, you definitely need at least two coats and I'm hoping two is enough. So we just got our brand new nightstands in and my husband was up early this morning and he wouldn't put them together for me. So they're already put together. So <laughs> there's like no unboxing of them or anything because I guess he did it this morning early. <laughs> Here is our cutie pooty little nightstands. I just love the little legs on the bottom. Um, so I bought these from overstock.com is where I found these. And they are super cute. Nice little drawers. I love nightstands with drawers. So lots of storage in these little guys. So believe it or not, I actually had a really hard time finding some nightstands that I like. So our bed sits high. We have our bed on risers. The top of our bed sits at like 31 inches and I know that's not super standard most beds sit much lower but we just like having our bed high <laughs> however when you are nightstand shopping most nightstands are only like 24 inches tall so it sits like way lower than our bed and I hate that I want my nightstand to be level with my bed so like everything looks cohesive <laughs> I did like all the search terms um, I just did like end tables nightstands everything but I was focusing on finding something super cute that was level to our bed and that is these fun fact and I don't know if you even noticed this was considered a file cabinet 
Yes. So I don't know how it popped up on one of my searches, but it did um, because I put in there specifically that the table has to be 30 inches tall. Then these popped up and I'm like, that's a file cabinet. They're super cute. So <laughs> technically this inside right here is two bars. You can use it for a file cabinet if you want, but to us, they are our nightstands because most nightstands are not ever this tall. All right, we just got back from Home Depot and we got the wood that I will be using to trim out the top of this wall here. So I'm gonna put like a little shelf on top and what we ended up buying was this beautiful knotty alder wood. So they have a lot of different like specialty woods and I was gonna get pine and then just stain it. Um, but I saw this and I'm like, you know what? We could just buy this. It's already like a pretty color and I don't have to do any work. We can just put it up. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. putting up the shelf on top of the board we just put up and we're gonna be using these little brackets and we're gonna spray paint them black. Use the spray painter. <laughs> All right, the shelf is going in. Nice. There's our little black L brackets. A little extra support never hurts. All right, we're getting our bed set back up and I just wanted to show you really quickly um, a little DIY bed skirt. Um, so this is just a drop cloth that we have here and then I just pinned it all the way around our box spring. Sorry, our bed is still crooked. <laughs> we have to get it adjusted here. Um, I just used these little T-pins. I just poked them right into the box springs and it worked perfect. So many times when I've purchased a drop cloth and it was never long enough. So kind of like when I was mentioning how we like to keep our bed high well, that's the problem. We would like to raise it. We never had a bed skirt that was long enough. So this is our solution. We just got drop cloth and cut it to the length we needed it and pinned it into the box spring. I found this really pretty rug at Target. It's actually an outdoor rug, but it doesn't feel like an outdoor rug. Um, so I'm gonna maybe put this under our bed here and see how it looks as like an accent because I love layering rugs with like carpet or laying rugs with other rugs. So we're gonna put this guy underneath the bed and I'm gonna see what she looks like. Okay, so I just got these really pretty leather pillow covers for some accent pillows on our bed here. And I'll be honest, I'm not a leather person. I like I just don't like the feel of like leather. Like I don't like leather couches or furniture to sit on. Vehicles I, I'm fine with, but just like my furniture at home, I, I'm not a leather person. However, I loved the look of the leather for accent pillows. And um, I was worried it was gonna be like a really hard leather. And oh my goodness, they're not. So these these are from Amazon and you guys they are so nice I'll leave the link below but I'm super impressed home finer if you're looking for some really nice cheap quality down accent pillows that you can use um, slip covers on Ikea is your spot they have really nice accent pillows and you can find them in so many different sizes and they're super fluffy and soft because they're all down look at that so highly recommend these are 20 by 20, so they're a little bit larger than like your standard 18s. So I have 20 by 20 pillows, and then these are the 20 by 20 slip covers. Got this one in. Looks awesome. And most important thing when you have down pillow pillows, the karate chop. <laughs> All right, so one thing I wanted to bring up that I love to do is when I'm looking for new wall art, I love going to Etsy for my wall art. There's so many different creators on there that have so many different styles and just so much variety. The nice thing about Etsy is you can go find the wall art you really like and then you purchase it and it's super cheap. It's like five bucks or something for the wall art and then um, you can download it and then get it made into prints and you just have to check that the art that you're actually purchasing is for the size you need so it's my go-to spot to go find wall art go to Etsy and I just went and picked mine up I just got mine ordered at Walmart with the one hour photo these are 11 by 14s so these are prints I just downloaded and went and got printed Sun, and I love 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 this print 
I love the colors in this. It's just, it's gorgeous. The bedroom is done and it is absolutely perfect. It is everything I dreamed of and more. Before I flip the camera around to show you what's going on in here, <laughs> I have to remind you how plain and boring our bedroom was. All right, you ready? Check this out. <laughs> absolutely perfect. I absolutely love, love, love every detail on this master bedroom remodel of ours. It is a totally different vibe from our old home in Minnesota, but I am loving it. My favorite part are those pictures up on the shelf. There's just something about those photos that I just, I just love and I'm so glad I got them on Etsy. And I'm absolutely loving those leather faux pillowcases. Let me just kind of give you a tour of where I found some of these items in case you're interested. Hey guys, so this pillow in the middle here was actually from Target. I Loved it. It is the softest pillow I've ever owned, I should say, as an accent pillow. It is so soft and squishy, and the design is so pretty. And then a lot of the items here, I just repurposed from our old home. So we had these lamps in our old bedroom, and I loved them, brought them with, and they are absolutely perfect. It totally suits the vibe in here. Same with these little uh, faux plants up here. So these are fake, and I think I think that one is from Walmart, and then I think this one might be from Hobby Lobby. And then this beautiful wooden tribal design frame here is from Etsy as well. This is something I purchased a year or two ago, and I love it. I just love that design, and um, it works so well in our bedroom here. And I was very happy with how the rug turned out underneath. It just kind of adds a little more pop to our bedroom. And then I did pick up this quilt from Target as well. It's just a really cool pattern on there. So I'm a lover of like white bedding. I, I'm not a big fan of going crazy with all like the designed you know, comforters and stuff. I love to accessorize with my colors and patterns. So give me some white bedding and I will pull together something. It gives you like that hotel feeling too. And there's just something about white bedding. I don't know, I just, I just love it. Having a basic white bedding and then accessorizing with textures and colors. That's my favorite way to style a bed. So thanks so much for following along on this little bedroom makeover. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And we just finished up our closet remodel. So if you haven't watched that, definitely go check out that vlog. That was quite a redo on there too. So that's a fun DIY remodel projects going on on my channel. So if you like that, be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.